Yeah. And, and the thing was, you know, we did get a very small advance. We got $15,000. That was your advance? Yeah, 15,000. 15,000. Was it, was it uh, uh, between the two of you or 15 a piece? 15 a piece. Okay. So you and Pete, Pete got $15,000. Something like that. Yeah. And then yeah. obviously when we went gold, then the next deal was a much better deal. We renegotiated our deal, but or certain things we couldn't get back and certain things we did get back. You, um, you know something? I'm, I'm, I should have asked you this earlier. Where did you meet Pete? Is this somebody you grew up with? Was, was no. this a group that was kind of just put together by Russell? No, it was, it was neither. I was, so I was already signed to Rush Management as a soloist. Mm -hmm. I was already signed to Rush as a solo artist. And Russell and Lior were hiring a producer named Sam Sever to produce my demo. And I had done like four songs. And they were already shopping the songs. And I get a call that a guy who was at Columbia or CBS, sorry, had went to a and And they were looking to sign a solo artist. It was me. And they were looking at me. They were looking at an artist out of Houston named Raheem, MC Raheem. Um, the night before that meeting, the night before, I get a call from Sam. And he says to me, yo, you should come listen to this demo I did last night. Um, Dante called me. He told me his homeboy got stranded in the studio that Clark Kent was supposed to show up and this one was supposed to show up and none of them showed up. This guy is spending all this money on studio time at Chung King and this and this. And you should check it out. Now I'd known my old partner because he had a, a radio show at Columbia. I'd bumped into him in a couple of spots in, in New York. And he ran with the guy I went to high school with, Vanilla B. And they were going to be in a rap group called the, the Swerving Generals. And they were going to sign to a record label. It's, I think Select Records and the deal never happened. Um, whatever it was, whatever the reason. So I, I knew him from around, but I never really saw him like that. Um, he played basketball and like, you know, he, we just didn't run the same circle. And um, so when I got to Sam's crib, there he was, and they played me this track and the track was incredible. And I started writing to it right there. And then we ran to Chung King and we recorded it. And by the time the guy from a and came to New York, we had already done three songs. And those three songs were a hundred times better than any demo I had ever created. To this day, I don't even know the name of the songs, the demos that I were, they were shopping. I, I don't remember none of it. That's how whack those songs were. But I damn sure remember the first time I heard Words of Wisdom and the first time I laid down tracks from it. So this guy comes in, his name is Steve Robowski, comes in, he sits down and he says, all right, play me some songs. Because I heard the three songs, I really like them. And I said, well, I'm gonna play some songs, but just so you know, I'm not a soloist anymore. I'm in a group. And at the time, we were calling a group three the hard way. It was me, my old partner, and Sam. So we called a group three the hard way. And we're playing these songs and they're bang. And he goes, eh, I like the songs. Songs are cool. I don't really get the whole group thing, but you know, we'll come back. We'll talk to and he leaves. So we're like, all right, whatever. So we're working. 30 minutes later, Lior's on the phone screaming because he was Lior Cohen, who was the president of Rush, kicking us out the studio. Get out. You're fired. I quit. Get out. Ruined the entire deal, blah, blah, blah. And I, Lior actually called my mother and gave her a script to read. And the script went something like this. Michael, why can't you do with this, this guy you just met what Chuck does with Flavor Flav? And I'm literally like, mom, you don't know who Flavor Flav is. Why are you <laughs> letting Lior tell you what to say on the phone? Like, really? So I said, mom, I tried to explain to her that the music I made is a thousand times better than what I made as a soloist. And like, this is my route. And if he wants to kick us out, he'll kick us out. And that was it. So I got the termination agreement from Rush. And the whole reason I did what I did with my old partner was because 
I was being told even over that night and consistently that like Rush signed him. So instead of being in competition with him and you on Rush, you should be a group. Found out 30 years later that that was a lie. That everyone oh, wow. around me who I trusted, my homeboy Dante, Sam, people that I thought were my friends, lied to me about this dude being signed to Rush. He was never signed to Rush. And the only reason they did that was because they wanted a group. And um, as disappointed as I am, to be honest with you, I thank them for that because I know for a fact I wouldn't have had the career I had as a soloist. Well, I don't know. But I know that the success I had for the limited amount of time we had success until we broke up. I just really can stand by those records. I don't think I really had a clear vision of who I was as an artist until the group. And I wouldn't have been able to really stand on my own as a solo MC after without the group. Um, and that success, you know, two number one solo records, you know, and then everything that came after it was you know, signing Nas, signing OC, working with Mark Echo, you know, all of that stuff was a result of what I did, not only in my group, but what I did after as a solo artist. So it fine tuned me, it gave me a, a much more global view. And if I would have signed the a and I probably would have not sold any records. I would have been a brick. What's up guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move. And I'll catch you all on the next video.